So what I'm going to do actually, uh, as per the task output that we're going to solve, uh, I think the task that as per group of tasks actually start with the first one. Immediately, first of all, remember we are going to say use the same uh, execution platform, which is the uh, lecture in under the cover by the cop, the same uh, destination of test. This is the server we are going to use to test our solutions. Whenever we solve a task, actually we use the name, which is starting with your ID. And and so followed by task one or task two or task three or so and so on. Dot uh, PHP usually the file. The, the names they are usually like this way. So <coughs> another later on whenever you send uh, or share something with me, it will be clear that it is from your part only because your ID would be available. Task number one actually, it is asking us to uh, generate a PHP solution just. To display some words for me, there is uh, no sense just for me it came in. Uh, let's solve that actually. It's just to display on screen mm, something that comes from a function or something like that. It means we are going to create a function that does a work. Uh, first of all, let's manipulate the echo, and later on we will move to generate the, uh, a PHP function to do so. New note file immediately. New note file. text editor. It's a PHP solution <coughs> and in between all the solutions will be there. Yes, Kelp? I see. Visible to you? Yes, great. Later on, you'll find uh, the recording actually. I started already the recording. So, uh, our uh, first solution I'm going to just generate a PHP solution fully. It's a document that has actually a PHP uh, code, but let me make it easier. Let me make it easier. So, an HTML body, and uh, here actually it's an HTML also. Uh, I'm going to just specify a title here. That would be, um, let's say, PHP to print, to print on screen. It is recorded. If you are with me, I said that it is recorded. I'm recording already. Be with me, please. So um, let's terminate this uh, header, and I'm gonna close my head here. And I'm gonna start my body. So, great. Inside the body would be the PHP. Later on, here I terminate my and HTML fields. Great. So, the solution of this task would be here. The solution of this task would be here in this location only. Um, <coughs> what is required to just print the result of a function to print an output, the result. Well, let's say also something actually of a function word, something to do inside the function. Let's say calculation of mm, the simple math operations only. But even though, first of all, before before dictating, just I'm going to manipulate a little bit the uh, echo function, and later on I'll come back to the use of function. Uh, I'm going to say echo hello fox exclamation mark quotation semicolon hello fox. And little fox is with a okay good. Plus, this is my uh, PHP solution that displays something on screen. Displays only without the use of a function. File save as. I'm going to use the same location to save in the same location. I'm going to use yes here. Same. So my solution would be here. It's uh, I'm going to say print PHP no whatever print.php, print.php, extension of PHP, all files I'm changing here, it's important, leave it like it is, just save, if it, if it has been saved, I go to check if it is saved or not, so my location here, I'm, sa I'm saving here, print, 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 here it is, here it is, for you, for you, you may use actually something different, actually let, let me just uh, change the name to make you follow the standard, file save as, 
you would save with the name your ID and then after for example task one task one dot PHP this ID has to be your ID remember remember because you are going to upload it to the online server so you have to use your ID and let me do here with the same way one two three um, me I'm using the one two three in eight task one all files save okay has been saved let me check it here one two three eight task one it is here okay I'm gonna upload it to the test server our test server here it is great cover bay slash slash uh, lecture I'm gonna upload the file the file it's a PHP file see here it is the type here it is mentioned PHP file so it's very fine open upload yes let me test hello Fox it displays very fine it displays the page very fine this is the content of the other file no hello Fox this is what I want see what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a second echo I'm gonna add a second echo but using a single quotation single qu quotation only one quotation here hello everybody I'm gonna change the word hello for example every buddy just changing the message only it's a text only I'm changing to make it different from the first but I'm using a single quotation I'm gonna save the name here with task 2 file save as let's say W W2 Rick W task 2 let me use task 2 task 2 for example uh, task 1 2 task 1 2 the same task but second version all files save so what I did I just added a statement and I saved with a new name only just to use it for testing only I come back previous upload the new file which is the task 1 2 this is the one task 1 2 it's a PHP also open then upload and let's test hello Fox hello everybody it works very fine but uh, in the same line what should I do to bring each in a line here after this one before the double quotation inside the quotation inside before the end I'm gonna add an HTML break I'm gonna add an HTML break I added an HTML break before the double quotation I'm gonna save only here file save only save let me test previous and upload the file again task one two the same the same upload test yes each in a line hello Fox hello everybody two lines now it works very fine so we are having an output and we are having an output also but the quotations are different double quotation single quotation see what I'm gonna do too I'm gonna add another statement a third one but not using the echo I'm gonna use the print print hello I'm gonna say fans hello fans another message using the single quotation or double quotation is equal but the third phrase third phrase hello fans file save us file save us task uh, same ID task one three I'm gonna change it one three all the files save us or save okay saved task three dot PHP I come back previous upload the one three here task one three this is the one task one three this is the one open yes upload it test we have three phrases hello Fox hello everybody and hello fans actually it is in the same line I'm gonna bring it to a new line what should I do just a break here before the end of this single quotation here I'm gonna add an HTML break tag and file save only file save only come back here previous choose it first the three the one three 
is the one and upload it test yes three frames now hello box hello everybody hello friends it's working everything conclusion we have actually uh, two different methods for display on screen the eco and the printed the eco we can use it in php to display something on screen and also the print we can use it in php to display something on screen we can use the single quotation or the double quotation are both of them they are very fine to be utilized okay i'm gonna now write the fourth statement see here i'm gonna add the print also but with double quotation double quotation double quotation and before of that i'm gonna define i'm gonna define a variable which is named date equals for example in between quotation i'm gonna say today's date whatever zero two 22 okay for example something like that so it's a variable that has the value a string I'm gonna display the content of this date after this print I'm gonna use the equal or the print whatever I'm gonna use the equal for example equal dollar date semicolon print new with double quotation equal is the same but there is a space here and the name of a variable but it is mentioned here without the quotations neither the single nor the double there is no quotation at all the date here is a variable why because I just wrote the dollar before so I wrote dollar date what is this one it's a variable that I stored inside قيمة, a value and we had jumla the tarikh date I put inside this variable here very easy that's it I stored and here I'm displaying the content echo because I'm using the echo no the echo it displays displays what the content of this date is the same so echo the content of this date so it has to display 12 to 22 let's let's see now i'm gonna save as file save as task number one but version four task number one version four all the files and save same location let me test it previous choose the file version four this is the one open it and upload it test hello fox hello everybody hello friends and then hello friends marathonia with double quotation and the date they are all in just one line why because there is no break so hello friends this uh, the second one the second hello friends here it is in between double quotation and the date here equal date this is the date it has been printed here let's bring them in just one line each so here the there is no break there is no break here because it is a variable there is no print there is no echo we don't do break break we do it here that's it and I'm gonna do the break here also to bring this one down also here okay great let me save only now file save and let's test this uh, version number four previous let's choose it this version number four upload it test it that's great each in a line hello fox friends of friends and the date all works fine so here we have one two three four and five display on screen they are five one two three four and five they are five messages to be displayed on screen the date is not to display the date here is a variable it's a process only okay I'm gonna display I'm gonna display the date here with this phrase not in a standalone message I'm gonna say hello friends the same line using only this print only only one statement we have how many and uh, see I'm highlighting now how many statements in this area in this highlight this is one 
and this is two, two statements. I'm gonna make them just one statement by concatenating. I'm gonna concatenate and display. Command, concatenate and display. Concatenate and display. Concatenate them. Jump, little jump. And display. Okay. So I'm not gonna use two display functions, print and equal. What of you? Either this or the other. Let's copy this date. Copy, dollar copy. And here, instead of the break, space, space, paste. So, hello France, space, day. The same, all dahl inside this double quotation. I'm going to delete this one. I do not need because I need. I have it here. And let's see now what would be the display. File save as. Let's take the version number five. All files save. Okay, let me just upload this version number five. This copy number five. Do this. Choose it. Five here it is. Upload it. Test it. Great. It displays very fine. It displays very fine. We have. We have it here. Here it is. Hello France. Space. Then date. It it worked very fine. <coughs> This is because of the double quotation. We're using double quotation. See here, I'm gonna just make this one in the same place here. I'm gonna just uh, uh, let me bring this one. Let me move. Let me move this eco hello France. Cut. Paste it here. Alas, I brought it here. Here it is. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna copy this one. Right click. Copy. I'll delete this break and paste this date. Okay, I, I brought it here. It's the same, but here I'm using single quotation, not double. So, hello France, date. Hello France, date of. This is with double quotation. This is with a single quotation. What's the difference? Let's see now. Version 6, file, save as. Task 1, 6. The same. Oh, sorry, no, if I say I'm actually on files, save. Hello, saved one six. I'm gonna upload it. Do this. Choose it here. The sixth version. Here it is. And let's upload it and test it. Hello, France. Twenty two. Hello, France. Dollar date. See here. Dollar date. There is no. There is no date. He's writing the dollar like it is. It is not displaying me the value. No, it is displaying the date. Which one? The second. Which which is with one single uh, single quotation. It does not display the date. It displays the variable name like it is, like, like such. Conclusion here. Conclusion here. This is a variable. This is the way how we declare variables. And this is how to concatenate. Let's say it's not concatenation, but to mention a variable inside a print or an echo. The same thing. I can replace this one with an echo. I can replace this one with an echo. See here. I'm gonna copy paste the same I'm going to use echo echo I'm going to say hi France not hello I'm going to use hi hi France to make it different only only let's save uh, only save oh this is the same number six I'm going to bring uh, that's it it's enough I'm going to file save that's it let me test it again the same uh, number six previous Choose it, number six, upload it, test it. Here it is, hello France. This is the hello France. Hi France, the date, he brought to me the date. The date has been displayed. This is the hi France, here it is, from the eco, with the date. So it works very fine, the same result, the same result. And then after, hello France. Dollar day, the variable name, not the value, it's the variable. Here it is. Because of single quotation, the single quotation do not display the value, it displays the variable name. So there's a difference between single quotation and double quotation now. This is the conclusion. So now we have a process. Now we know very clearly how to display on screen 
something. I want to declare something actually inside a function now. How to do so? We did so. The same process here. The same process. The same process. I'll leave it there. Before it, I'm going to create a function. I'm going to say function. Give it the name here. Display message. Display. Let's say um, msg. I start it here, and I close it here. See what I did? This is a method. It's like in C++ exactly, like uh, writing codes in C++. Yet, I'm not writing void or int or data type here. I'm using the word function. This is the keyword. I'm giving a user-defined name here. User-defined. Any name. Any name. There is no space, but it's a name that indicates the program. Display message. Those simple parentheses to say that this is a method. It's a function. As per the question. It's a function. As per the question. Good. And then after we have a start, and this is the end. This is the body of the function now. This is the body of the function. Okay, I'm going to save it as version 7. File save as. As version 7. All files. Save. Okay, let me test it again. Previous. Choose the file 7. Upload it. And test it. Any error? No. Little error. There is no error. But any result? No. At the same time. Right click. View page source. Nothing is there. Only the HTML content. Nothing is there. Only the HTML content. The HTML is there. Here is the HTML. And at the end, close. The HTML is there. But the PHP, nothing is there. There is nothing here. Why? Is there any error? No, there is no error. Why? Because, because, listen to me very carefully, please. We are creating a method or a function, but we did not use it. We have a, met a method, but we did not use it. See what I'm going to do. The name of this method, I'm going to copy it. Copy it here. I'm going to copy it. After, after it has been terminated, leave this space. And I'm going to paste it here, this location here, and add one semicolon. So in this location here, now, what I'm doing is just one new statement. What does it do? It calls. It's a call to the method display message. Here, we are executing the content of this function. Let me save it with version number 8. File save as. Version number 8. All files. Save. The difference in between version number 7 and number 8 is this message here, display message here, this statement here, only. Let me test it, previous. Let me choose the 8th or the 8th version, this is the one. Upload it, test it. All the messages are here, they are all here, they are all here. Now the number 8th displays the message, number 7th does not show anything. But no errors. In the number 7, there is no error. But in the number 8, there are everything. Why? Because we executed the function content. Here, by, by just calling the name of the function, we executed the content of the function. This is the content of the function. How I knew that this is the content? See, this is the start of the function, and this is the end of the function. It's exactly like in C++, yet we do not mention the data type. We mention the name or the keyword function. That's it. Simple. And even the call. Even the call is the same as if we are in C++. There is no change. Good. We did it now. Let's pass to task number two. Write a PHP script to demonstrate the use of HTML tags in the PHP program. Okay. Jamie, Jamie. I'm going to just define because already we did it here when you use the uh, BR inside the double quotation it is an HTML content inside the PHP let's uh, create a new program so new uh, notepad okay I'm going to start from the beginning here since he's saying an HTML inside the PHP so what I'm going to do I'm going to just write the HTML content And then after all the body action, I'm going to declare it here. I'm going to say here, HTML inside 
PHP, close the cycle, and close the hat. Then if I start here the body, and I close the body here, uh, move this down, and also I have to close what the, HT the HTML, the full uh, file. Great, I'm done. I'm done here. Yes, I start with the HTML. <coughs> Inside the HTML we have the header. Inside the header we have the title, and then after the body, the body here here it is, it's empty so far, and then after we close the HTML three, the full program we close it. Great. Uh, should I open the PHP here? And close it somewhere here, to write something here. Should I open inside the body? Because inside the body, should I open the PHP? Because like when we compare, when we compare, come on, when we compare it with the other program, for example, here we have inside the body, inside the body, we are having a PHP. So we do the same thing here. Here, no. Why? Because, because the full program here is inside the PHP. It's not like here. There is no PHP before. We have only the HTML, then the PHP inside. Here, no. We are having a different view because all the HTML is inside. So we do not need this one. This one we do not need it. We are inside already inside the PHP. Okay. First of all, there is an error, which is inside the PHP we do not find something just displayed like that without any uh, prior annotation. What is this? Inside PHP, we have to find only PHP commands. Let me save this one as task two, and I'll explain to you what does mean there is a problem. Here I said inside, okay, inside. Okay, file save as. I'm gonna give uh, the ID. Task two, one, task two, one, dot PHP, Task two one dot PHP all files save task two one okay I saved task two one here it is let me test it let me come back previous choose the file task two one task two one this is the one open upload test we have an error parsed error we have an error we have an error unexpected less than he's saying other line, other line number two, other line number two. I repeat, see, see how I'm interpret this error. We have an error. Clear. He's saying error here. This is clear. So we have to see what is what is the error. The error he said unexpected less than. What is this less than he said? What is this one? And where it is? It is in the line number two. It is in the line number two. Let's come back to the code. Line number one, line number two. This is the line number two. In this line number two, he said unexpected less than. Let me see what is this less than. In this line number two, we have only one less than. This is less than, and this is greater than. No, he said less than. This is the one that makes problem, this one. So he does not know what is this less than. It's not a command, it's not a PHP command. So, as I said earlier, we do not find an HTML like that inside the PHP. We have to pass a command, don't we? I'm going to use the, the echo. Echo, double quotation, and I close it here. Double quotation, and I close it here at the end. Semicolon. Echo. I open double quotation. I leave everything like, like it is, and I close the double quotation, then a semicolon to terminate the statement. Let me save only. File, save only the same name 2-1 it's 2-1 I'm gonna retest it again that's the previous choose it the same 2-1 here it is upload it test there is no error now but any output no right click previous uh, view so page source everything is there everything is there what is the everything this is the content actually not this one this one Yes, everything is there. This is the HTML content here. The content of this echo. Very fine. I'm going to say here immediately, hello, Fox. There is no echo now here. Because already we are inside the echo. I wrote immediately, hello, Fox. 
I'm gonna file save only the same task to one task to one I show this one let me come back previous previous choose the same file to one upload it test it hello fox hello fox it works very fine it works very fine now here using this task only we were able to execute or to pass HTML content inside a PHP program PHP starts here and gets closed here this all of this block is PHP this is PHP inside this PHP we were able to pass HTML this is HTML this is HTML all of this HTML 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 all of it up to here it is passed inside the PHP but we have to respect the rule I use the echo and the quotations double quotation here and double quotation at the end then the semicolon to finish the echo the semicolon is to finish this echo that's it and I write whatever I want as HTML here see I'm gonna change the size of this hello fox I'm gonna say see here h1 and at the end h1 I close the h1 sorry h1 also h1 means header size number one I close the header size number one I'm gonna make file uh, the task 2 2 version 2 file save as 2 2 it's a PHP also all files save let me come back and previous to choose the file task 2 2 this is the task 2 2 I choose it upload it okay test it see the size now hello fox see the size because of this h1 yeah so it works very fine I'm gonna add something else I'm gonna add uh, some style and see another tag see here font no I'm gonna let me write something else let me write something else here I'm gonna say mm, welcome welcome to our web page okay but I'm gonna give it a, a color see here less than font color you say for example red I close the font it's an HTML this one only so I, I use the font tag that has to give it uh, that is given a color which is I start I chosen red color only to whom to this to, to this welcome to our web page and I close the font which I opened earlier let me file save as or uh, save only save only uh, same version 2 same version number 2 file save yes file save yes save only is enough let me come back previous choose the file task 2 2 upload it test it yes hello fox big welcome to our page in red it is in red perfect yes so it works very fine all of it is inside all of this one is inside the PHP remember I'm inside the equal only it works very fine uh, okay task 2 has been done let's pass to task number 3 okay the write PHP script to dem demonstrate the use of a variable or variables inside PHP we used already in task number one the variables but let's uh, solve something a little bit more, uh, more complicated which is the math functions new notepad I'm gonna start the PHP program from from the beginning and then here I'm gonna declare four variables or two variables let's say dollar a which is for example uh, I'm gonna give it a value khamsa and the dollar B, which is actually uh, let's say having the value 10 good what is the a the a is a variable why because I'm writing the dollar before dollar a means this is a variable like in C++ as if in C++ we write int a equal whatever the value is so instead of writing int a in PHP we write dollar a we don't write int or something like that in PHP you do not write this is in C++ only so I'm gonna delete this one 
So a equal خمسة what am any number any number equal one for example equal two hundreds for example any number I'm giving any number for now as for an example only as for an example okay I'm gonna say the result or the sum I'm gonna say dollar sum equal dollar a plus dollar b so we call it jama the sum of a plus b we store in sum okay dollar substitute dollar substitute equal dollar a minus dollar b another variable given the name substitute b is a variable محتواها dollar a minus dollar b dollar division dollar or divide let's say division division equals dollar a divided by dollar let's say b so we call it the last one the, the fourth um, uh, mathematical operation is the uh, multiplication multi let's say multiplication or we can say multiply multiplication leave it like that to say we dollar a multiplied by najma dollar b semicolon simple I'm gonna say I finished the program. خلاص I declared variables: dollar a, dollar b, dollar sum, dollar substitute, dollar division, dollar multiplication, and so on. Those are six variables, and they are having different operations. Here initialize with 200. Here initialize with 10. But this is a sum. This is a substitution. Substitution. This is division. This is multiplication. Let's save this file as task three. File save as id first. Task three. 3.1 I'm gonna say 3.1 dot php dot php all files save us okay done has been saved php let me test it hello class come back previous choose the file 3.1 3.1 where is the 3.1 this is the 3.1 here it is 3.1 okay choose it upload upload it test it nothing is there nothing is there right click view source nothing is empty nothing is uh, nothing is there why is there any error no there is no any error there is nothing but here see in this program we just declared the, the variables we did not display we did not use the echo or the print we did not use those are the functions or procedures responsible for display to do so let me use this for for example echo space dollar sum only one echo displays the sum here we said a if we have 200 b has 10 the sum is 210 let's see let's file save only file save 3 1 previous choose the file 3 1 upload it test it 210 it works very fine perfect let me display also the multiplication or whatever sub subdivision and all of them the four of them copy this one substitute copy this one semicolon copy this one also the multiplication semicolon it will they will come in just one line but we will see file save only file save only I'm, I'm gonna test 3.1 the same previous choose the file 3.1 great upload test it see 210 19 uh, 190 minus uh, 190 then 20 200 by 10 is 20 then after 200 multiplied by 10 is 2000 that's clear uh, it's very perfect i'm going to just bring them in one line each how to bring them just in one line each not in just one line like this how to do that in s after that i'm going to just make it the easy way echo in between double quotation a break close here so what i'm doing here is just a break only echo this one here and then after here and then after here so break 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 
new line means it's an HTML, no? Yeah. It's new line. File, save as. I'm gonna just make copy two, three two, version number two. Version number two, all files, save, and let's test it again. Previous, choose version number two, three two, upload, test it. Yes, now each in a line, two or ten in line. Yes, is as per order. The first one is sum, is zero asher. The second one is substitute minus. Yet same, is enough. Division, meeting al asher. It's actually only through sah multiplication. Is 200 by 10, so it's 2000. It's correct. It's correct. So perfect. Now everything is uh, very fine. Uh, I'll stop the recording just immediately, and I give you the uh, chance to ask if any questions.